I'm gonna cook, um, or I'm gonna attempt to cook Picole Express for dinner tonight. So I've never made it before and it's kind of gonna be like my take on it because I don't have all the exact ingredients you need for it. But I've got pork belly and I've got coconut milk and the seasoning. So hopefully here is the pork belly I'm gonna use. Um, it's not out of date, it's come out of the freezer. That's why it says January on it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to put the meat in the oven now. Like I said, I'm going to kind of do my take on it. I'm not going to cook the meat in the pan because I don't think the fat will go crispy. And I really like it when the fat goes crispy. So I'm going to just put it in the oven, cook it slowly, uh, wait till it goes crispy. And then like finish by frying it off in the pan with all the seasonings and then adding the coconut milk. Okay, so here is the meat ready to go in the oven. I'm just going to put that on like low, like 150 degrees. Um maybe for like one hour and then I can either crisp it up at the end or maybe I'll just crisp it up when it goes in the pan like with the other things um so I will pop that in now okay and here is the rest of the ingredients I have well, apart from the coconut milk so um onion and garlic ginger and then I've got these like finger chilies um like the spicy ones and then these peppers that are like slightly spicy but not too much and then, um, so I just googled a recipe and the things that I don't have, I don't have any shrimp paste and that's not really like easy to get here. So I'm, I um, googled like substitutions for it and it said fish sauce. So I'm going to use this fish sauce instead of the shrimp paste. And then the other thing that was on the recipe that, um, that I don't have was coconut cream. Um, but I have this coconut milk and this is normally like, as it says, it's normally quite a creamy one. So I'm hoping it'll be fine just as it is um i just won't add any like extra water to the recipe and i'm sure it'll be all good okay so the pork's in the oven for at least an hour um hang on my rice oh whoopsie never mind anyway pork's in the oven for about an hour i'm probably gonna get it out in a minute and add it to the pan so i'm gonna just start off by frying some onion and garlic and ginger and chili. I know you're playing hide and seek, my darling. And chili, sorry. Just pop some foil in. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the onion, chili, garlic, and ginger. Oh. Okay, so while that is just frying for a little minute, I'm gonna on the pork. Oh, it looks good. That's how the pork is looking. So, yeah, it's starting to crisp up. Um, I'm just going to chop that up and then add it to the pan with the onions and garlic and everything. Um, and any bits that aren't crispy, it will crisp up a little bit in there. Um, like I said, I'm not sure. I don't think this is like the, necessarily the right way to cook it. Um, I think you're supposed to cook the meat in the pan. I just, I don't know. I just think I doing it this way. So we'll see how it works out. So I've just chopped up the pork and I'm going to add that to the pan now. Okay, so this is how it's looking. Um, so so far it's just the pork, onion, garlic, and ginger. Oh, and chili. Um, so oh, smells very good already and looks yummy. So next, I'm just gonna add the fish sauce and the coconut milk. I'm just going to add in some fish sauce now. Like I said, it should be um, shrimp paste, but we don't have any, so just a little bit of that. Ooh. And then well, coconut milk, main ingredient. Right. This is what I mean, right? It the so hopefully this will be good enough. Oh 
Anything, but yeah, I think it's pretty much ready. Right, let's try it. Come into the camera. It looks nice. Hopefully, it tastes nice. It's not double dip. <laughs> Look at the sauce first. I don't know how spicy it's going to be. I've used quite a lot of chili, but I don't know how spicy they are. Mm. Quite spicy. Very spicy. Oh! My attempt at Bickle Express. I'm filming ya. This is Bickle Express. It's like pork belly and coconut milk and lots of chilli. It's quite spicy. No reaction so far. Just <laughs> mixing it in. Yeah. Now this, this is how Daddy has to eat rice. If it's on its own, separate with something he won't eat it he has to mix it in with the sauce or something and there we go nice beautiful mm, it's really hot it is spicy it's not hot. yeah spicy it's right it's just fine and you tried it already but <laughs> is it still nice it's mm. <laughs> still nice that's horrible now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. not so spicy because it's obviously got the rice with it. Perfect. Good, good. My turn now, I'm going to try some meat first because I've not tried the meat yet. Mm. 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 Kind of like halang halang, but with pork instead of chicken. Remember that I made that before? Yeah. yeah. 